I've always said that Op USA can get in. Uh, it's a little ship that can get in where the big ships can't. If there's an emergency and aid is needed, like yesterday or right now, Op USA will get it there. They have wonderful contacts all over the world. They're not proud. They. Uh, they don't mind tagging onto somebody else's donation if it helps them get where they have to get. Why do you support Operation USA? What, what about um, a small guns or relief agency interests you? It's all about tax reduction, really. I mean, you know, the government takes the money if I don't give it to somebody, so. No, you know why? Because I give, I give, and I give a little more, but I'm not really brave like you and Richard are, so I don't really go there. In fact, I don't really ever go east of La Brea. <laughs> I was uh, I was once in Hancock Park. I got nervous. Oh my God! Uh, but uh, they do great work. I think the most important thing to know about Operation USA is that if you donate to Operation USA, your money will actually go to people in need and most importantly it's staffed by people who genuinely care about making a change and making a difference in people's lives and uh, I feel very blessed to be a part of this organization. It's the best international relief agency that I've ever worked with and uh, I was there with my husband at its inception. We helped in a way to make it possible for Op USA to, to get going and uh, my husband and I donated um, well, really, the fuel for an aeroplane that was one of their first missions. So ever since, we've been very proud of the work they're doing. It's just gotten better and better, and uh, I'm happy to stay with Op USA.